It is the 4th of July right here from Los Angeles, California. It's 9.32 in the evening. As I look at the clock and as I look at what is happening in our world today, I can't help myself but praise God. His coming is certain and He promise that he will come again and the Bible is ready to declare the glory of the Lord by his glorious appearing the question today is friends are you ready are you prepared are you willing to meet your God as what the Bible had prophesied and as what the Adventists all over the world are waiting for today it will be soon we are almost there and we are nearing the promised land once again so i would like to welcome all of you today uh, in my um, community here there are fireworks uh, that uh, that are exploding and the celebration is tempered and the and the the american people are observing its independence its uh, day of its republic birth of its of this newfound land which was prophesied as well in the book of revelation as well as in the spirit of prophecy so join me today my friends let us read and let us uh, come together and reason together that uh, we may be able to comprehend the signs of the times the day of the Lord is at hand the Lord is indeed coming very very soon imminent it does not matter what other people will, will say or think the Bible will fulfill its prophecy so I would like to invite you today, dearly beloved, wherever you are, in Africa, in the continent of Africa, to those people who are watching there, and to those people who are praying and are serving the Lord. I hope and pray that the Maranatha Spirit continues in that part of the world. To the people in South America, to the faithful in Central America, and to, this, to the people as well here in North America. The Lord is also reaching out to all these people, to Australia, to, to parts in Asia, to Europe, and to the rest of the world. Friends, the good news is that the Lord is coming very soon. Take not my word for it, it's what the Bible says. So for our study this evening, I would like to invite you to open your Bibles with me in the book of Revelation, specifically chapter 13 and verses 11 to 12. The King James Version Bible has this to say, And John saw from the island of Patmos as revealed to him through the visions from Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. The Bible says, And I beheld another beast when you hear the beast in a revelation or prophetic interpretation it means a nation a power or a movement of people a country and i beheld another beast coming up out of the earth not of the sea as uh, the sea represents throngs or multitudes of people this time out of the earth meaning to say out in the in the uh, unpopulated areas or geographic location of this earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon very unique characteristic lamb-like power or lamb-like beast or lamb-like nation or country but spake through it uh, her legislation and through her laws spake as a dragon and we all know that dragon represents Lucifer the enemy of God Satan the arch 
deceiver the devil himself according to the word of God verse number 12 and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast referring to that nation that came out from the multitudes of people specifically from the seven hills and that means the Vatican Rome so this prophecy is real time operating and powerful today and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed the protestant reformation led by martin luther and the rest of those reformers throughout the english speaking world at least and also from the other european countries had stated that this power in revelation 13 verses 11 12 is no other than clearly the birth of the united states of america it came out from the new world as they call it and grew out as a protestant country a protestant uh, colony from from britain from the from the island of the english and migrated because of severe severe religious persecution by the roman uh, catholic church and they inhabited this country that is celebrating its freedom independence today july the 4th 2020 and it is a lamb like beast outside it is socially uh, justice for all philosophy or theme and it has given socially liberty for all and economically the freedom to uh, to buy and to sell and to trade this is the greatest country in the world this united states of america is in fact according to protestant reformation and to those great bible students bible scholars of all time and even until now is the is the nation is the power that is prophesied in revelation chapter 13 verses 11 to 12 it seems like a lamb it looks like a lamb but it will speak or it has spoken as a dragon and it will cause all the earth to worship the first beast which is rome if you ever visit rome and if you ever visited or visit washington dc these cities i call them twin cities because they are so identical in their not only in their architectural design but the people that are inhabiting these cities the united states of america was built by the uh, famous secret order descendants of the free masonry and also it came from the uh, from the uh, from the order which was uh, behind uh, the power that is uh, that is advising counseling presidents and governors and and powerful men and women of this earth the order of the society of Loyola which is under the uh, papal supremacy of the Vatican City so friends the united states of america will be the one to enforce the 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 plans and the programs of rome this is in bible prophecy it will exercise its power as the universal enforcer of roman catholic policies plans and even its program so friends we should never be surprised we should never be caught off guard this is the prophetic gift that was given to us 
by the book of Revelation. And I would like to augment this. And I would like to add from the spirit of prophecy, the message of God's messenger, Ellen G. White, from her writing called The Great Controversy. And it's found in page 566. And I would like to read here in the third paragraph of this uh, book that I have here with me. It says, because America is a Protestant country originally based on Protestant ideals, although they have not left the Sunday keeping or Sunday sacredness, they are still in protest about the uh, the uh, the corruption and also the false teachings of the Roman Catholic Church. That is the history. And then today, friends, today that Protestant uh, that Protestant stronghold has been diminished and has been destroyed by the order of Loyola, by the secret order of its uh, of its agents of its intellectuals, of its people that are behind the government of the United States of America today. And so, very fitting statement about 200 years ago from the writings of Ellen G. White. Sister White cost almost her life writing this book, The Great Controversy. So it's worth, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to read and to ponder for a moment what she has to say with regards to this prophecy. Many Protestants, talking about the American uh, culture and American religion, many Protestants suppose that the Catholic religion is unattractive and that its worship is dull, is a dull, meaningless round of ceremony. Here they make mis they mis mistake. While Romanism is based upon deception, very straight message very very straight and this is what she continues to write it is not a coarse and clumsy imposture imposture the religious service of the roman catholic church the roman church is the most impressive ceremonial and i agree if i happen to visit spectacular cathedrals in europe and spectacular services around the world this is indeed very true. Its gorgeous display and solemn rites fascinate the senses of the people and silence the voice of reasons and of conscience. The eye is charmed. Magnificent churches, imposing processions, golden altars, jeweled shrines, choice paintings and exquisite sculpture appeal to the love a beauty very precise and accurate statement from the pen of inspiration it continues to say here the music is unsurpassed the rich notes of the deep toned organ blending with the melody of many voices as it swells through the lofty domes and pillared aisles of her grand cathedrals cannot fail to impress the mind with awe and reverence it means to say that the reason why the, 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 the seductive power of this religious, uh, religious uh, practices and ceremonies and rituals captivated the Protestant mind, Protestant mind that they have forgotten the very reason why this country was, was founded in the first place, was born in the first place because of this great deception that is the Roman Church. This outward splendor, pomp, and ceremony that only mocks the longings of the sin-sick soul is an evidence of inward corruption. Very straightforward message from the Great Controversy. That's the reason why they don't like this book. They ban, burn, block this book uh, also. In many places, this this book is is being threatened to be to be brought to court, to be sued, if this will be if this will be continued to to be proclaimed and propagated. As I've said earlier, Ellen G. White almost lost her life writing this book. Satan would like to destroy her, 
literally, physically, but the good Lord sustained her so that Sister White is exposing what Revelation 13, 11, 12 is talking about lamb-like beast, but spake as a dragon, meaning to say it, it, it seems to be gentle and meek outside, but inside it speaks like a dragon. And that is very true. That's the reason why the United States of America is, is the, is the uh, greatest country because of that uh, qualification. It, it, seems to be, uh, it seems to be exporting justice, social justice, and, and, and democracy, and, and, and uh, freedom. But within its, within its holes, people there or people in high places are acting in behalf of the enemy of God and that is very true the religion of Christ needs not much not such attractions to recommend it in the light shining from the cross true Christianity appears to so pure and lovely that no external decorations can enhance its true worth it is the beauty of holiness a meek and quiet spirit which is of value with God and friends, I would like to, I would like to just uh, continue telling you, friends, that this religious, uh, religious uh, organization and religious power, so to speak, had already captivated the uh, the the Protestants of America, meaning to say they have already. The Protestants of America have already clasped, the, reach out to 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 this Roman power, to this Romish uh, authorities, and that they have yielded to the power and the moral ascendancy of this religion, of this universal religion. It continues to say in page five hundred sixty-seven, friends, and I would like to read. Brilliancy of style is not necessarily an index of pure. Elevated thought, high conceptions of art, delicate refinement of taste often exist in minds that are earthly and sensual. They are often employed by Satan to lead men to forget the necessities of the soul, to lose sight of the future, immortal life, to turn away from their infinite helper, and to live for this world alone. A religion of externals, externals, that is what it, it's just outside it's a facade to the unrenewed heart the pomp and ceremony of the catholic worship has a seductive bewitching power by which me many are deceived billions of people are deceived they will kill for their for this uh, uh, ex religion of externals and they came to look upon the roman church as the very gate of heaven isn't that very true isn't this very cutting prophetic utterances none but those who have planted their feet firmly up upon the foundation of truth and whose hearts are renewed by the Spirit of God are proof against her influence thousands who have not an experimental knowledge of Christ will be led to accept the forms of godliness without the power such a religion is just what the multitudes desire so no wonder Billions of people are seducted in and attracted to these religious power. The first beast in Revelation 13, the, 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 the city on the seven hills, the Vatican, Rome, the Bishop of Rome, the papal supremacy. If you look at the history, it's so dark, that it's so vile, that it's so corrupt, it is so evil, that even until now, billions of people have ignored the past and continue to be seduced and deceived by this religion of external just like this lamb like beast people are coming in from all over the world to be here in this great country of freedom equality and and uh, religious tolerance but that ideals of the protestant will soon be or eat right now are eroded and are diminished there is a blurred line between our religious liberty and our 
conscience, civil, a religious conscience. We are now being ready. We are now being groomed. We are now being prepared to follow the dictates of the dragon that is prophesied as this country, this great nation, the United States of America, will act according to Revelation 13 verses 11 to 12. And you might be asking, so why are you there living in that uh, lamb-like beast or lamb-like beast uh, nation that seems to be uh, good outside but inside is, uh, is the dragon speaking and the world listens. Well, I have reasons why I am here and perhaps the Lord has led me to be here because of its promise of equality and its promise of democracy and its promise of justice for all and it's but that those ideals those protestant ideals are so well it is a it is a uh, human desire for freedom and and de and democracy but america if you if you follow what's happening in america it has pushed the envelope extremely look what is happening with what the this country this great country had offered freedom look at what's happening the blurred lines of of freedom is starting to to uh, to take effect this country or this nation is leading the world in its uh, in its in its uh, propagation of whatever the policies and plans and programs of the holy see needs to be implemented the united states of america leads the world in its implementation and its reinforcement the sunday sacredness friends is already in the books do, do not get me wrong it's just a matter of time when its ugly head will really stumped out those who are commandment keeping and those who are uh, seventh day adventist people and that is in the prophetic uh, language and prophetic code of revelation 13 if you ask and if you read and if you study and if you research the protestant uh, reformation the the protestant reform reformers they will tell you exactly what the bible today that we i'm reading with you will tell you the united states of america will in enforce the dictates of rome and that is basic that is already out there in the truth what is happening now is because of our ignorance because of our um, complacency we have just ignored this fact and that's why today it is great time to remember why this country was born in the first place and why where this country is going where this country is heading it's it's ironic that in the united states of america we uphold life we uphold the value of life that's why there are movements that are clamoring for popular support and for politicians to bow down to the mob demand the black lives matter because we value the lives of black people and that is true not only f for the blacks but also for the whites for the brown for the yellow and that is a god-given gift for all of us the gift of life but the the other the other flip or the flip side or the other side is the hypocrisy of this push for legal abortion the the supreme court of the united states had spoken like a dragon again they voted friends and they have this technical wordings to allow abortion which is the murder of millions and millions of innocent babies in the united states every day every week every month every year that's millions and millions of babies dying deliberately because of legal abortion woman's right act like a act like a lamb spake like a dragon the supreme court had spoken 
like a dragon it doesn't care about life on one hand it cares about black lives on the other hand so this is the hypocrisy the pretension of this power of this beast and that is exactly what is happening i still believe that if the lord god will allow us to leave this place and go somewhere else it will happen but for now this is the country that needs to be evangelized this country needs to be given the message of the three angels this is the country where many young people are educated were educated by the left leaning progressive liberals extreme they are so illiterate with what the bible prophecy says and even history friends dumb and ignorant but that will not excuse them and that's the reason why we need to broadcast to these people the message today and the message today is for all of us to be aware that this country the united states of america is in prophecy it is following the footsteps of babylon and its military might and its economic might and its social influence it will turn this protestant country into speaking like a dragon and it will enforce the dictates and commands of rome you don't believe me wait for it friends listen to the word of god and i recommend to you the great controversy this is exactly the path that we are taking so this is the irony of america saving lives destroying lives babies abortion honoring marriages allowing destroyed and uh, divorce and dissolution of marriages it is as ancient as the time of moses but this country is the champion of uh, divorce and separation and cheating and all sorts of fornication and adultery this country leads the way it's number one murder america leads the way and murder guns and guns and uh, rifles and everything america leads the way but it will speak of justice for so many reasons friends that's why this country is land like but it will speak like a dragon so that is the danger that is the warning that is given to all of us today who are believers of bible prophecy look at what is happening in social media access to information but what is happening censoring of information for those who are biblical and commandment keeping uh, uh, preachers and pastors they are censoring or they are vanishing them in the corner in the margins so that nobody will listen to them but look at what's happening the agenda of lucifer music through music and movies and and media they all they all they are all being trended they are all trending so to speak so there is this hypocrisy it's all about billions of dollars trillions of dollars all about the the the, the influence the power it's all about that it's it's called lamb like for a reason it's not the real lamb it's not the meek humble the united states of america it is the dragon that will speak using the might the military the economic power of the united states of america and so i'm right now what i'm trying to do is i'm waiting for the lord jesus christ to impress me through uh through uh, his word and even through visions and dreams that he will guide me what to do this is still the best uh place for us to to speak this is still the best uh, best area for us to to propagate the word of god this i mean area in this country where we can still have a little bit of freedom of expression and freedom to worship with our own conscience so this is the united states of america today friends and there are millions of people who wanted to come here for opportunity and i cannot blame them and that is and that is uh uh very true but let me emphasize that the that the roman power has already has already uh envelope or infiltrated or had uh, dominated the powers the government of the united states of america 
listen to this prophetic insight from uh, the book of great controversy 567 the last paragraph the church aim to the right to pardon leads the Romanists to feel at liberty to sin and the ordinance of confession which without which her pardon is not granted tends also to give license to evil He who kneels before fallen men and opens in confession the secret thoughts and imaginations of his heart is debasing his manhood and degrading every noble instinct, instinct of his soul. In unfolding the sins of his life to a priest, an erring sinful mortal, and too often corrupted with wine and licentiousness, mm, speaking about pedophilia, his standard of character is lowered and he is defiled in consequence. His thought of God is degraded to the likeness of fallen humanity for the priest stands as a representative of God. This is according to the Roman Church. This degraded confession of man to man is the secret spring from which had flowed much of the evil that is defiling the world and fitting it for the final destruction. Yet to, to him who loves self-indulgence, it is more pleasing to confess to a fellow mortal than to open the soul to God. It is more palatable to human nature to do penance than to renounce sin. It is easier to mortify the flesh by sackcloth and nittles and galling chains than to crucify fleshly lust. Heavy is the yoke which the carnal heart is willing to hear, to bear rather than bow to the yoke of Christ. The religion of externals and outward, outward, man, uh, outward demonstration, friends, is what the United States of America is likened into. And right now, right now, we are going, those who are commandment-keeping people, we're going to face a more rough, difficult, and possibly dangerous, dangerous way of life as we continue to be uh, the minority, the lesser numbers of people that are believing in this in this prophecy, as well as in the in the Bible, in the spirit of prophecy. So today, friends, may it be that as we celebrate, uh, look, uh, uh, celebrate life in general, celebrate the, the the independence of America, we we can examine ourselves and look deeper into our own hearts and minds what the bible is telling us what the spirit of prophecy is warning us all about friends so many are ignorant so many do not know what they are doing so many are are just are just not getting the message either they are they are they are callous and they don't want to accept the message anymore or the time is ripe for the judgment of the Lord Jesus Christ to come upon this lamb-like beast but speak like a dragon. It's like a sheep. It's like a wolf, I mean, in a sheep's clothing. It's like the devil pretending to be Christ. It's like a tomb, white outside, but inside it's full of full of dirty evil evil substance friends you can judge for yourselves but I'm grateful to the Lord God that I am still have this time to be free to have this freedom of expression to have this freedom of conscience as a pastor as a minister as an independent thinker as a citizen of the United States of America I am aware I am aware of what will happen to this great country and where it is heading. It is a solemn reminder for all of us friends and we don't have time. We need to work now. We need to work hard for the night in the United States is really coming. May the good Lord continue to bless you and keep you and may your names be continually found in the book of life. May the Lord God will not blot out our names but blot out our sins from our record through the blood of the Lamb, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May you have a good evening and may you have uh, a peaceful 
time to reflect upon this uh, moment in our history where we are and where we are going.